Morning all, as promised in my previous breaking news alert, here it is. I don't think many people know about this, but this is called the Bella Bill, B-E-L-A. It is the Basic Education Amendment Bill that is currently in Parliament under discussion. So, the biggest problem with this bill, if passed, it is going to change the entire education system as we know it. But I'm going to run through some points so far. I'm getting a copy of this bill from my contact in Parliament so that we can start discussing this. Public participation starts in a month, and if it is passed, then this bill comes into effect from 2025. This bill was vetoed five years ago, and now they're doing it again. So the new amendments, first of all, all power from schools will be taken away from the school. So in other words, the governing body, the principal, the parents will not have say anymore. It will become a centralized system run by the Minister of Basic Education. This is not only for public schools, but also for private schools and kids that are homeschooled. Second, government will have the final say. It doesn't care if you're a private school or a homeschool. Every single school, primary school, high school, private school, homeschool, the government will say what language needs to be taught, what admission policies they have to follow, and what curriculum they have to follow. Second of all, a subject, a new subject is being brought in. It's, it's coming to uh, the bill. It says it's a comprehensive sexual education cur curriculum. Not sex ed, comprehensive sexual education. The governing bodies will no longer have choices at the school. Even for disciplinaries, it has to go through the basic education department. Admission from grade from grade R will now become compulsory. Your child has to attend grade R. As soon as the child turns five, the child has to go to school. If your child is not in school, the parents can be held criminally liable. You will be fined up to 50,000 rand or 12 months in jail if you do not have your child in grade R. Second of all, from as little as five-year-olds will be taught about sexual rights. A five-year-old will be taught about sexual rights. Alcohol will now be able to be sold at school, sold at school after hours and at non-school events. Proof of vaccinations will now become mandatory. No admission to private, government, public, nothing can be done unless the child has been fully vaccinated, including COVID. If your child is not vaccinated, the school will be legally forced to not admit your child and the parents will be held criminally liable. The last one is going to put very much triggers. A 12-year-old girl or any female that is pregnant at school, excluding teachers obviously, any school-going child that is pregnant, the school and the teacher have to now legally facilitate the child to have an abortion. She will have access to the facility, she will have counseling, and the parents do not have to be informed about it. Anything that happens at school, the, the parents no longer have to be informed about it. The, cent the government or the school has to inform the central governing bodies committee and the committee will make decisions on the learner from now on. The parents will not have to be informed. If the parent takes it out on the child or the school, the parents can be criminally charged. This is the new bill that is currently coming to Parliament. It's already in Parliament now. They're busy discussing it now. Public participation starts shortly, and if it is passed, it will take effect. So in other words, the government is taking control of public, private homeschooling away from the parents and the school and taking it for themselves. More to follow.